Hi guys, we're back at the bus and um, we've got some exciting stuff happening today. So um, this is a day I've been waiting for for a really long time. So let me show you what we've got going on. So we have got two by fours. Um, we decided to go the two by four route and we are trying to figure out how to frame in our bus. So Randy's in the shop right now. We've got the side one pretty much figured out and he's working on doing one to go across the ceiling. So there's Randy. Let's go check in and see what he's doing this morning. So what do you have going on? You're, I told him you, um, you were in here working on well, I got the, the two by four for the roof. Right, so the first first thing I did was I tried to match the, the bow of the roof, you know? Yeah. So I was cutting these out and trying to work out that pattern. And then I realized I didn't have to have that. I didn't need that bow. I just need the connection points. So I got this pattern worked out and I got I just figured out my angles for this first pattern. And I cut two of them and one more wall one. So oh, gonna, so we're gonna go do a test fit? We'll go do one arch. Oh. See, make sure everything works. And then once everything works, I'll jig up this saw uh, so that it's easy to cut them all the same. Sounds great. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Okay, so we're not gonna have the uh, traditional arched roof like you see in a lot of the schoolies. We're gonna have the vaulted ceiling. So instead of accentuating this arch, where I know a lot of people do that, we're eliminating the arch uh, with these pieces, which are gonna go in here just like this. And then these guys are easy, because they sit on the chair rail. And then down at the bottom, there is a little bit of an issue there with the two by four. So when this, when this comes down to the bottom, the two by four is too thick, but I don't need a two by four down there anyhow. So I'm gonna rip those into uh, whatever width that makes so that, so so that that will set and go flush right down to that. And then we'll have more room we can spray foam that metal to try to eliminate some of that some transfer. Yeah. Even though we're gonna, we're gonna drop foam in behind it also. So. That's our plan for the day. Yeah, get this one worked out, make sure we got the system dialed in, and then we'll go produce a bunch of these. I'll do these, these are just 69 inches long. Yeah. You, you can make these for me. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. It's called teamwork, right people? Oh, I got both of those. I got those too. So I'm, I'm screwing them up there with these self-tapping screws. Beautiful. And we decided to do two on each side, just because we're obsessive compulsive. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think baby? it's better. Right? We stayed in from the end to avoid splitting the ends out. We pre-drilled them. We pre-drilled it so that this so that this can suck the board up tight.
window here. We have to frame on this side right. so we can clear the window. Right? Right. Building your puzzles, baby. <laughs> These are the easiest ceiling joists I've ever put up in my life. This is so cool. <laughs> Littlest trusses I've ever used. What's up, YouTube? Hanging some trusses. So we've had a very successful two days of um, framing in the bus. We got the ceiling done and most of the walls. We just want to thank all you guys for following us on this journey. And we love all the comments that you guys are giving us and the support. Keep it coming. And just know that we love you all and love sharing this journey with you guys. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.